So the next up... Why did you play this game again? Because it is the best game ever. Better than Day of the Tentacle? It's up there. Okay. It's because Sam and Max Day of the Tentacle are yeah, like my two I top. I know. So the, the thing is, okay. So the Dig. The, the Dig, Dig is an old Lucas Arts game. Yes. Uh, it's the point and click adventure in the in the realm of of you know. Sci-fi. Uh, uh, that's but yeah, funny, I mean, it's though, like, right? yeah, it is. It's kind of funny. I mean, oh, okay. it, it was a. It was a. Well. Mostly not funny, it's right? I mean, like, it's, it's, it's atmospheric. So this oh, game right, right. was directed by Steven Spielberg. What? Yep. Really? Concept was by Spielberg. So he was making games way the hell Making back games then. 20 years ago. Wow. Okay. The dialogue was done by Orson Scott Card. I know, Card, I saw your link and I'm like, who wrote holy Ender's shit. Game. So I, mean, I didn't know that. I didn't know yeah. that until I beat it this time. All I knew is that when I was growing up, The Dig was one of my favorite games. I mean, you take like Grim Fandango, mm -hmm. uh, Full Throttle, Day of the Tentacle. I mean, there's there's about five. Monkey Island. Monkey Island. Yeah. There's about five that, that people are like, do you like this better than that? I'm like, those five are the shit. Like, don't make me choose. Those are my five children. <laughs> Out of those five children, which would you have to pick? I, I would pick not. Because <laughs> they're all awesome for different things. The thing that The Dig huh. is good for is it's not all about like clever music or jokes or this or that it's mm -hmm. you get stranded in an alien world and you have to figure out how their doors work how their keys work how their dialogue works like you're kind of just wandering oh, through it everything is just beautiful like you're in these glowing spheres that roll from place to place like that's mm -hmm. their tram system no one is there but you and it's all puzzle solving it's based all off puzzle of alien solving. technology yes. that's something and it's just that, that actually sounds interesting it's me. just this beautiful oh. music and, and the puzzles are challenging and the, uh it's one of the first games ever where the whole game is voice acted. So they actually recorded oh, yeah. on a DVD all the people that, that voice acted. It was great voice acting. Yeah. That was kind of like the, the, the golden period of, of, uh, of adventure games. Because basically Absolutely. right around Day of the Tentacle, Sam and Mac, mm -hmm. The Dig, that's when they all started saying, okay, we're going to make talkies. Yeah. So, right? It's just like all of a sudden when movies became, right, like yeah. with audio. And that was yeah. right before people started losing interest in that genre when they just kind of died. Yeah, they, they did okay, but yeah. it was... But it's it was, like right after that, like yeah, you don't see just, anything. You see, you see just kind of like a void. So hmm. I'm going to be honest, you can't really buy this anymore. You might, like you maybe. can probably buy a used copy. The point is... Do you think maybe GameTap, maybe... Maybe game time. Maybe. Maybe. So, but the point is, is it's it's very difficult to buy the dig and give Lucas Arts money. Yes. So I don't feel guilty in saying that I went and I got a copy of this for Scum VM. Like yes. But you bought it a long time ago. I did actually. So you That's you true. own the license yeah. for this. So don't I mean, pirate. Yeah, right? exactly. I mean, we don't pirate <laughs> games here at Noob We yes. don't do it. But the thing is, is this is something I didn't feel guilty about. Like you said, I bought this a long time ago. So I went and I got a copy. Scum VM is the shit. Wow. It's like an emulator that does all the old games yes. for, and for did you LucasArts. Did it on PC or did you do it? Cause the thing I is did it on PC, but it runs on everything. No, it's just like the DS if you have a homebrew card. Um, Wii? A few Wii. There's a, few, there's a bunch of places where they ported it all over. I think even on the iPhone might even have a Scum VM. Are you something. serious? Well, I think for if you have an unlocked, if you have the unlocked iPhone. iPhone. Yeah, I, mean, uh, I would actually really like to play some unlocked. Actually, that some, would be perfect That would be perfect. Okay, yeah. so we'll, we'll do some research on that. But yeah, Scum VM, you can play pretty much... And not only that, not only not only can you just play scum games yeah. like uh, look, all the LucasArts games, yeah. but uh, a couple of companies uh, went and then took their games and said, "Okay, well, we'll let you." Here's the engine source code, so you can make Scum VM work with it, even That's though it right. has nothing to do with LucasArts. So beneath the still sky, yep. there's a couple they of other. They gave out their source code to say, "Here's how you make this stuff work," because otherwise, yeah. and they gave their game away for free, by the way. What, beneath the still one? sky, really? yes, it's Are you serious? free, yes. Holy so crap! So they said. Take our game, give huh. it away, and then that's how they kind of garner interest in, in their, in their property, their IP. Oh, so the same guys did the Wii game that just came out, right? Be that's right. The, wait, something Sword. Uh, Broken yeah, something, sword or something Broken Sword, Shadow of the Templar. Templars, yeah. So you're going to play that. Which I'm actually going to play. Okay, cool. Um, so if you go to scumvm.com or whatever it is, they actually let you download scumvm, and then they have two or three free games that you can go and play really? right now, tonight. Nice. Uh, it's like kind of old school games. I think that, that Beneath the Steel Sky might mm -hmm. be there. But, and if you can... F if you can find your old copies of all of That's your LucasArts right. games, you can take the system files and then plug them into Scum mm -hmm. VM legally. Yeah, absolutely, legally. absolutely. Yes. And and the thing is, is Scum VM is perfect. It plays as if you were no playing back in the day. No bugs, no slowdowns, nothing. Adrian came into my office when I'm playing. She's like, "That is beautiful." What? She said, "It's a freaking VGA screen." I mean, these but the stuff they do back then with the VGA screens. I mean, she basically said it looked like a cool cartoon. Like she's just like, yeah. "Oh, that's really cool." I like the art style, whatever. So I played through it, and I sat down. I'm like, ah, the dig. This yeah. is so nostalgic. I'm going to sit did down and dick around. I'm going to play through the dig. Did you finish it? I did. Holy I finished shit. it in one sitting. I don't think I <laughs> took a piss. Wow. So this is one of those games that made you forget bodily functions. It did. It did. 
I sat down for about four hours nice. and I beat the dig beginning to end. And four it is, hours? That's a short yeah. game. Oh, but yeah, you were saying, you're telling me that you were, yeah. So there's a couple really, you really nasty what? puzzles that are trial and error that I remember from back in the day. There's like mm-hmm. this one thing where you have to drop an arm down and pick something up and you have to program the alien thing where it's like three left, four oh, right, yeah. one down, blah, yeah, blah, yeah. blah. And it's trial and error and I was just like, ah, you know, I did this back in the day. I'm just going to go online and get the code. Figure out the right one, Because yeah. I just wanted to experience the game. I just wanted to mm-hmm. blow through it. Um, and I had such a good time. Well, since you had a good time. So you, you had a fun time playing an adventure game. Yeah. So my question is... What's the was difference? It, well, no. Was it because it was nostalgic? Mm. Or was it because it was a good game? Because are you saying that you can't finish or play any of the new adventure games because they suck? Or because you didn't play them as a kid? That's a good question. I, it's, a hard, it's, a hard, I mean, it's a hard question because... The thing is, is to me, because I've played the dig before, it feels like these puzzles are logical. Like, you go over and you, know, you have to trap a mouse that has this thing, and you have yep. to do whatever. Like, but it could be that it's just because I remember those things. But the thing that bothered me about these new Sam and Max games, for example, was that it would be like, oh, of course you have to use the orange with the blender. You know, it's just, it the basically puzzles are was not just, like the old school. Yeah, at you all. pick up a bunch of shit, and you try it, and, and they're, they're going for funny. They're like, yeah. ha-ha, an orangutan and orangutan pops out and grabs your orange <laughs> and beats you over the head with it, and then you unlock a clue. Yes, and it wasn't very funny. That's it wasn't that funny, and it wasn't, I didn't feel like I was figuring something out. I figured, like, I felt like I had an inventory, and I go, this with that, this yeah. with that, yep. this with that, this with that. Okay, all that trial worked. Error. Yeah, yeah. No, it didn't feel like I was figuring shit out. And in the dig... I'd forgotten, it had been 20 years, oh. I'd forgotten everything, and I felt like I kind of puzzled it out. Yeah. I, I can't honestly answer your question. Okay, just, just checking, because the thing is, what I'm hoping is you will find a new adventure, maybe, maybe it's Beneath the Broken Sword, it maybe it's be. one of the other ones where all of a sudden you're like, wow, this rekindled my interest, and it's a brand new game that I do not have nostalgia to affect my Actually, memory. Actually, that's perfect. That's yeah. perfect. So, I mean, Broken Sword, I'm going to play. I, I, I haven't read... heard good things about it, though. You haven't? <laughs> well, I, have, I, I know some people, like I have a coworker who, who plays a lot of adventure games, yeah, yeah. Who's, who's like us in terms of that, right? Yeah. And she has yet to play a really good Adventure game that reminds her of the old days. Mm. And she play, She's more of a freak than, right. than we are. As well, well, I will be. I will be the guinea pig. So I'm gonna go okay. rent. I'm gonna go rent Broken Sword. Okay. I'm gonna play it uh, because it's a port of an old, you know, 20 year old game, and it's supposed to be kind of they've cleaned it up. Like the guy, the guy uh, did the art for the Watchmen is like come back, Alan something. He's done Alan like. Moore? No, it wasn't Alan, Alan Moore did the writing. So was, the, was, I don't know who the artist is. Yeah. So, but anyway, the point is they've cleaned it up with new art. They've done a bunch of animations really? for speaking. They've modernized it as much as they can. But it's still a point-and-click adventure game, man. All right, so I'll, so I'll report back. I'll okay. report back. But The Dig, huge, huge thumbs up. It is still one of the best one of the best uh, uh, adventure games ever made. And some of you guys complain about us not covering you know, retro games a lot. There's so your retro there, game. There's your retro game. 